just before we get into it, I just wanted to show you guys how this basically works. You can see from the mounts for the headlight that you have two holes for every headlight mount. And that's basically where your screws are going to go in in order to mount the new brackets because these brackets are prone to breaking. I wouldn't just say Mercedes Benz, but on most cars, the headlight bracket mount are prone to breakage due to wear and tear. If you think about it, this part here is the only part that is holding your headlight. It wouldn't take much for you to tap something or hit something with just a little bit of force in order to break the mount. But if you hit a car and the headlight takes the majority of the impact, most likely you are going to break every single mount. And that's why they came out with this kit here. You have three mounts here and this is a kit that you can buy in order to replace the mounts of the headlight. And the fact that this kit was designed just goes to show that the mounts are prone to breaking or else they wouldn't have to design a kit like this. But also designing a kit like this is very beneficial in that you no longer have to replace the entire rear housing just because you broke the headlight mounts. The price of a headlight backing case is about $100 to $200. Now, I've already done a video showing you how to remove all the components inside a headlight and transfer it over to a new backing case. If you want to see that video, just uh, click in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to see a video showing you exactly how to disassemble this entire headlight and transfer everything over to a new black backing case. It is a bit of an involved task, but it is very possible. I didn't have the luxury of being able to just simply add another mount on top because my old headlight backing case cracked right along here. So I no longer even had the screw hole so that I could just simply screw a new mount to it. So that's why I did that video. Getting back to this, this fix really is very simple and I'm telling you now that it saves so much money because if your issue is your headlight will no longer mount due to the mounts breaking, then this fix is definitely something that you should consider before you even try to replace the entire headlight or the backing case itself. And all you need for this fix is six screws, two per mount, and the appropriate screwdriver for the type of screw that you're using. In my case, I'm keeping with the Mercedes-Benz tradition of using torque screws. So that's what I've used here. I've used a torque screw. And just to give you an idea of how long it is, my torque screw is approximately 15 millimeters long from the bottom of the screw to the top of the head and the width of it is approximately four millimeters and that's all you really need in order to be sure just grab your screw and ensure that it does fit in the screw hole that way it will actually screw the new mount onto your broken mount on this headlight the left hand side one i don't have to replace the top one but i do need to replace the one on the side here and also this one here as you can see it's a little bit mangled right now so i want to show you guys how you replace these two and then i'll show you how to replace the top one on the on my right hand side headlight because the top mount of my right hand side headlight is the one that's broken so i'll show you guys how to replace the top one on the right hand side headlight and on the left hand side headlight this one here i'll show you how to replace these two okay so firstly let's just do this one here so as you can see this one is a little bit mount uh, melted but you know in order to replace it all you really have to do is press on your new one now if it really is gotten if it really has gotten to the point where it's a little bit mangled you could simply just cut this off and then simply push on your new one and then screw it in that's it and that will simply allow you to mount your headlight back onto your car without any fuss at all and it really is that simple guys all i did was screw this on top of it and it gives you another mount in order to mount your headlight now in order to do this properly you would have to cut off a portion of the mount that way when you go to screw this one in it will sit flush and that's what you want you don't want it to sit like this because that isn't how you want your mount to sit so i'll do that right now and show you guys how that's done i'm gonna take off just enough so that i can install this here okay so we're going to take off 
all of this here. Okay, so to fit this on properly, you have to cut off more. You have to cut off like straight across here. You do have to cut that off because if you don't cut it off, this can't sit flush as you can see here. It needs to sit in this groove here, flush. So now that I've cut it off here, you can see that when I install this, it sits flush. As you can see there, see how nothing is sitting in the way now? So that's what you need to do guys in order to get this to fit properly. You do have to cut it along here. And now it fits in flush. And that's how you want it. Another thing is that you need to actually transfer over your old mounting point. Okay, this is where the bolt goes in in order to secure the headlight to the headlight bracket. Screw it in and this also acts as your headlight adjuster as well. It will help you tilt your headlight up or down like that. And now all you do is you get your screws and we'll screw this in. This one too, make sure it's nice and tight as you don't want your bracket to just break again. That's how you replace that mount for your headlight. And it is very strong and secure. As you can see, I'm tapping on it pretty hard and it doesn't go anywhere. And then just as you do for this mount, you do for all the other mounts as well. You also transfer over the mounting point as well. So for instance, as you can see, the mounting point is in here. So you need to transfer over this piece here and it screws into it as well, like this, as you can see. So when you go to replace this piece here, like I'm going to show you now, you have to ensure that you transfer over the mounting point as well. Simply just unscrews and then you screw it into the new mount. The original ones have the star torques in there so that you're able to adjust it from the top like this. You can adjust it from the top here. The ones that they give you as part of the kit don't have that. So you have to adjust it using the bottom part of the mount here. So you just have to get a wrench that is big enough or an adjustable wrench and you just turn it until you get it where you want it. Because this point also helps to adjust the headlight here, up and down as well. So you can face it, you know, a little bit up if you want or a little bit down if you need to. Not only can you adjust it from these points here of the um, headlight, but you can also do that with the actual mounting points as well. As for the one on the side, this is the mount here, okay? So as you can see, this part of the mount here has broken off and I no longer have a mount that comes out like this. So in order to replace this, it really is so simple and you know, I can't stress how easy it is. You just have to push this over the top like so and then simply put your new screws in and it will simply mount your new ones. Grab your screwdriver and simply just screw it in. Okay, All right, they're very sturdy. Doing this will definitely give you a mount that is going to be strong enough to enable to mount your headlight back onto the car and not have the issue of it falling apart or falling off. It really is a great alternative to having to replace the entire headlight or the backing case due to a mount breaking. When you go to replace this part, as you can see, you don't have the clip here that allows you to screw in your bolt in order to mount the headlight. So all you have to do is transfer over your clip from your other headlight to this. Now, if you don't have that, you just have to ensure that you get the right U-clip that will fit the same size 8mm bolt. Slide it in here so that it will allow you to remount this headlight to the car. And as for the one here, you also have to make sure that you transfer over the screw mount for this as well. If you look here, it has thread inside there, right there. You would have to remove the mount screw from your headlight and then transfer it over to your new mount. 
Now, as for the top one, as I explained earlier, my top mount on this headlight is still intact, so I don't have to replace it. But the one on my right hand side is broken. So I'll show you guys how you replace that. This is the right hand side top mount. It broke here. So basically I just cut it straight across here with a saw. You can just simply saw it off. It is plastic after all, so it will cut very easily. And in order to replace it, all you have to do is simply put this in and look at that. It sits perfectly in the mount. They took into account that it has all these grooves in here. So they made the mount so that it sits perfectly in the grooves. In order to make it work, you would have to cut off um, you would have to cut off the existing mount here in order to get this to work because you can't simply just install this over the top of it because it will not fit. For example, this is the left hand side one here. If I was to try and put this straight on like that, it wouldn't fit on because as you can see, the thickness of this gets in the way. So say I wanted to use this mount, I would have to cut this off straight across there so that I could use this mount. But most likely that's what you would have to do because it would most likely break here. Getting back to doing the top mount, you just simply sit it over the top and install your two screws. That's it, look at that. That mount isn't going anywhere. Nice and sturdy. You can definitely mount it back to the car without any fuss at all. And that's basically it guys. That's how you go about replacing the mount for your headlight. A really simple fix and uh, something that is definitely worth doing because it is a very cheap alternative than having to replace the whole backing case or the entire headlight. So if you found this video helpful guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs, signing off. See you in the next one guys.